to tear you out for you just Madden Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cowboys and the Eagles and it comes your way next. Folks at home can see the evidence, snow, and supposedly a few inches yet to fall here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Coming up, an important divisional round matchup in the NFC between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team is coming in off of a win last week. They're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they hot and ready to go. of the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season in Oklahoma. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And some run to work. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the stream the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. They'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They go play action with Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. I love that play, because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. 
You know, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another run with Sanders. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Hurt sets up to throw it. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Nobody ever wants the interception on the opening drive to happen, but when it happens in the playoffs, it feels like it's a bigger deal. What a rough start. And how about these visitors? The defense just went right on the field and seized momentum. You know, almost like they're saying, okay, no one expects us to win this one. Let's go ahead and give them a shock early. Took the ball from the home team and put them in the hole. Because this crowd, one of the best in the league, especially this time of year, it's going to be tough to take them out of it, but that's a heck of a start. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. It wasn't really his best performance of the year in the wild card round last week. He just had the one touchdown pass, but he got the job done, and his team advanced. For them to continue on to the championship round, though, now he's going to need to take a few more chances with the ball downfield, push it a little bit more, and make sure his team finds its way into the end zone a few more times. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. On first and ten, Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards on the play. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's, that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense. Defenders have to react, and they often slip. First down, Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott sliding out of the pocket. This is caught. Touchdown. C.D. Lamb, 33 yards. And the Cowboys are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Things could just not have started any better for them. They get the turnover, the football right away, able to capitalize on offense for six. And we're talking about setting a tone in any game, right? The first points of a ball game. How about during the playoffs? Finally important, and they've done that in this one. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays, try and go to those spots, and get your offense moving. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. A good first down call as the screenplay gets a nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll fake the give to Sanders. Now Hurts. This is Smith to the ground. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Second and short, that's a run down. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Left side here to Sanders. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage on benches here. This last play plays it. He's right down the field. And just like that, then he'll be set up with a first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaking up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. There's Smith. He's got it along the sideline. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. From the gun, it's Hurts. And Goddard's got it! Touchdown, Eagles! A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Bouncing back nicely from that bad open drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just a second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, put them to good use on that one. Seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And then Dallas gets set to take the field. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round. On the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cue a little music, right? A little on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoff. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just 
stay. It's just us. We don't have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. Becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll roll, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage. He's going to be taken down. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. They'll need a big play here with Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. A throw there, but that's going to wind up being this is what you want to see from the defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Take it in at the 22. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an end of just 33, following a 10-yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Throwing his hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Looking to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Back deep is Cole Beasley. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that kind of hit will certainly fire up your team, both on the field and on the sideline. Tackles for loss yardage, they're always welcome. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They go to LA again. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. Get back over the line This one away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Eagles are having it taking over a first and 10. And out now come the Eagles. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talked to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You put the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive to help themselves out. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second and seven. Hurts. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and trying to work his way back across 
across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Yeah, looking for a lane, but none to be found for Sanders as they stop him short of the line to gain. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Prescott looks to throw on first. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call. They were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on the second down. This one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Prescott from the go. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll go again with Sanders. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. The Eagles on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time it's third and three. And he fends him off. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an Eagle slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he's got this down to the 35. 68 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And able to get this to the 31. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a carry for Sanders. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now Sanders. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. So far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll run with Sanders. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh shot of downs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll run it, Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaken up. A second and seven with our score tied at seven. But they're planning to change that soon. Only question will be. And this is caught. Touchdown. when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those too. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Prescott. Over the middle complete. That's Schultz. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. on the throw there, down around his feet and incomplete. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint. Coverage was awfully tight. How did he get away with that one not being picked off? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Prescott yet again. Able to hit his target land. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And the defense has it covered. 
over, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover. As they'll try to get some points here before halftime. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's Sanders. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 91 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Another run here with Sanders. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Sanders, and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This is the first of four Divisional Round matchups coming up this weekend. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other Divisional Round game in the NFC. And it looks like we've got a good one in store as it's going to be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final adjustments as we speak. Which of these two teams is going to advance to the NFC title game next Sunday? To find out, let's get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, yeah, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. And this press got stripped. Fortunate to get that football back. He's trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down. He's got a man complete. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And that might be just what they needed to get back in this game. Sometimes you need a big play to shake things up, get a little life in your sideline, get everyone believing again, and they got it there in a big way. And the final number of the next-gen stats, that ball traveling a full 59 yards through the air. A first down throw for Prescott. It's incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the middle. Here's Elliott. 
And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. So seven yards from the first down here as he come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Prescott. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice shot there, keeping the toes in bounds. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Seibert able to knock this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold it. Let's get the ball back for us. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Sanders, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Hurt sets up to throw it. smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might all stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Looking to throw, Prescott. And up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Throwing, Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. And we got a third down and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's taken down at the 43, but now before picking up the first. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. the play fake, Prescott. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a great play, but he could not pull it in. On second down, Elliott. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Behind the game is the 33. Here's Prescott. Get this out right here to Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 27. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defense man dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Now a first carry for their fullback. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pick up a five or six. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallagher. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw is Prescott. 
Flushed out right. That's caught once again by Gallup. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Now back to the ground with Elliott. Oh, it goes over it. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, you pointed out to me it half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams. Under pressure, down he goes. Soft at the tail. Seibert's kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, Barbara, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's fighting down the and they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Eagles. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from the special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. Well, let's be honest. A lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a field, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead is up to eight. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Take it in at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he wisely will throw that one away. They've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long. And you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first run. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Prescott to throw it. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't try to turn any of that to come down. Plain and simple. That's the second time today that he's dropped the pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm got was just off. He's got to off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Now Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. You give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. They struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would 
say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. Prescott now. And he finds, and now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll set up shop right near me. At the 49 We've got plenty of weather here today. We've got some snow going on. And they've come out of the dome. And there have been two ways of getting ready for this. Some have said, don't worry about the weather. Just practice in your normal conditions and handle it on game day. And others have said, find some weather, find some conditions somewhere, and try and get ready. What do you think? Well, whatever the preparation there, the snow causing the fumble. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Another run with Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaking up. The Eagles on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have a first down as they get into the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They lock on to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 130 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we gotta get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down. It. Sanders is in the end zone for an eagle touchdown. It's all so hard to to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that drive in total eight days. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off for the touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down carry by Elliott. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now Prescott. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. After that complete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert. 
third and nine. They're going to look to throw. He hits Beasley right side. And we have now to get this one across the field. There was a gain of four. And that's going to make it fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. He'll go right back to Beasley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. A handoff left. Elliott. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Prescott. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. And down he goes. So Reddick from his outside linebacker spot forcing the sack for a loss of eight. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coach, you always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not quite sure how to judge that. Maybe they got the legs underneath them. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That yeah, fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards, the pick up, first down. I don't think there's any question, Brad, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive class, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get an ace up. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. That's good for an Eagles. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he will take this one in for the Eagle touchdown. to a day now in the NFC Championship game as they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And 
it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchdown. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but... And oh, he coughed it up. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they're going to set up shot at the 27-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure Maybe that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. to his tight end. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third and one, here's Prescott. That's caught again by Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Prescott's throw here pulled in by Beasley. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. To the air again, Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a quarterback, you have to be the guy step for step down, feel the man coverage, and make a guy quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays, just like that one we saw there. Prescott from the gun on third. He'll find Lamb. That's complete.